Good morning, Ranger Nation! Power Rangers Movie Megazord. It's big. This is not the transforming Megazord. There's gonna be another version that has the five separate swords. This one comes just like this, but it does some cool things. It comes with mini figures. All five mini rangers, they're two inches tall. All right, let's open them. He's about 17 inches tall. It's the red wire, right? That's cool. Expandable wings. So in the back of the packaging, it looks like one of their power coins. It has both a very fossil and alien kind of feel to it, doesn't it? Love mini figures, yes. This is the movie interactive Megazord. It doesn't come apart, it does come with batteries. Let's swing a right hook at it. For articulation, you actually can turn his head around, which I kind of didn't expect since he's got lights in there, but you can actually rotate the head. You can take off the wings, which I'm going to do right now. You can rotate the shoulders all the way around, and then you can also bend the elbows. So he's actually got some pretty decent arm articulation, especially as far as Megazords go. Same deal with the other side. So over here, he's got twin cannon alternating blasters. Press the button. It doesn't really shoot real lasers, you have to pretend. But you guys do that. Over here, slide the thingy, and he's got a blade. That's what we all need, right? Arm blade! I've got him in try me mode now. If you turn him like that, there's a switch here so you can turn him off entirely. Or into this mode. So now he's got a sensor on his foot. Spread his wings, and now... And the feet are lighting up, which is cool. All right, I've got the little tiny figures. Inserting Red Ranger. You can take your Rangers and put them in all the little compartments. This I very much appreciate. It's so rare that we get little figures that can go inside the Megazord. We had it in season two with the Thunder Swords, and then was Time Force the next time? That time. Um, might be. Yes, love that. And then you can close the compartments. The metallic blue on the feet is gorgeous. Overall, not a lot of paint on this. The design itself, I think, is actually pretty cool. I know for a lot of fans, this is going to take some getting used to, because it's a little bit different than the original Megazord. Just a little bit. Or maybe entirely. They did sort of keep, if you look at the, the head, the kind of the horns, maybe even if you look at it from behind, too. With the new movie Megazord, you look at it, and you really can't tell what Zord you're looking at, right? Like, this just kind of looks like, more like a humanoid with wings, rather than, you know, you can see there's a dinosaur here, a prehistoric animal over here. I believe this is the saber-toothed tiger. It's yellow. This is probably the T-Rex. You probably turn him kind of sideways, and then maybe his legs become the arms, possibly. I'm gonna guess the wings are pterodactyl. As for mastodon and triceratops, the feet are blue, so I'm going to guess that's Triceratops. The head is actually inside the T-Rex, and I'm still pretty sure the T-Rex's tail is going to become his sword, which I don't think is included. In this version, anyway. This is really something totally different. It's certainly grown on me, but the way I am, I usually have to see the thing on TV or in the movie first, and then I'm like, I need that! I still remember watching Power Rangers a hundred years ago, when the White Tiger Sword premiered, and I'm like, I need that now! <laughs> It'll be interesting to see how they handle this and what all it does in the movie. And they did do the individual Zord, so that is cool. And I like the chest. I can now confirm that this is supposed to be the Morphin Grid that is actually kind of flowing through it, which is cool. I like that they kept the Morphin Grid. It says, activate the Morphin Grid. I think Overdrive is the last season to actually mention the Morphin Grid, so points to the new movie for that. Let's see what they do with it. It has these nice blue LEDs. Now, are the rangers actually going to be here in the movie, or will they all come together and, like, sit up in the head? We don't know yet. I love that they did the figures. Now, if you look at the back, you can get your first look at all of the swords individually. And not only that, Kimberly, it looks like she comes with a putty. So now we can see kind of what the putties look like. A little bit. It's a figure, but you can kind of see their shape. All right, do I recognize any of these shapes? <laughs> do I recognize any of these shapes? Looks like this piece on the saber-toothed tiger becomes the cannons on his arm over here. Mastodon. What does Mastodon become? It's tricky. 
Now, do you guys like that? Do you like that you can't really tell what's what? Because, I mean, for years, I've seen, like, other reviewers always complaining about everything is a brick, right? Like, everything has no articulation, it's too... Well, <laughs> then, then they went and made Juoger, which literally was bricks. But uh, Japan was like, you know, if you're gonna call everything a brick, here you go. Here's Brick Ranger. Is this what people were asking for? Are people liking this? Or do you wish it was more big and, and transformery or power injury and blockier? What do you guys think? I kind of like this, even though it's, it's different. It's certainly not what I was expecting. Should it have been more colorful? Or in the movie, will this actually be kind of darker and shinier and then look better because it's CG and this is plastic? I don't know yet. I really like the wings. So the Megazord's got wings and he's got foot thrusters, so he's probably going to fly. I know fans are already wondering how will this combine with the Dragon Zord. One thing that's actually kind of interesting is the wings do come off, but there's no reason that they need to come off for the packaging. Like, it's not like, you know, some toys are packaged and you have to, like, put the wings in or the tail on or whatever it is when you buy the toy. These wings were already on, so why do they come off? Will there be a sequel with the Dragon Zord that will combine with this and you need to take the wings off? do it or maybe they just it was just easier to do it that way but thought I'd point it out can you believe it's mid-november already holidays are coming up you can get this first at Toys R Us this holiday season it sounds like if you guys head over to rangernation.com right now direct link in the video description they're gonna have some of the upcoming movie toys for pre-sale and it also sounds like the interactive movie Megazord is available for pre-sale on the Toys R Us website. I'll link to that below as well. I'm very excited for the movie. I can't wait to actually see this guy in action. I want to see the Zords individually in action as well. All right, I'm going to end here. Definitely check out RangerNation.com. RangerNation.com is the official Power Rangers fan destination, and they're going to be adding a lot of cool stuff, so definitely check it out. All right, I'm going to end here, so thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. I will always be back soon with many good videos. Leave comments and questions about the movie Megazord if you have them, and good night.